Good evening, Hackology. In tonight's episode, we're going to look at some more advanced orc statements and how to do some um, cool stuff with orc. I've done another slideshow, so I'm just going to talk you through the slides and let's get to it. The first example we're going to look at if we are, uh, if we look at the ls command, and we do ls star dot sh. Well, we could write this using orc. Um, by piping the output of ls-l into orc and then orking out the regex value of .sh. So we're using the pipe symbol to pass the information from ls into orc, which this is the important bit. Anything that ls-l outputs will be taken and used by orc and any of the lines matching in the output will be output to the screen. So, let's have a look. Here are some other examples we can use awk for. So we could look for .py, but we could also use that statement to look for upper and lowercase file extensions. So ls-l pipe awk and then the regex characters equal to the regex values contained within the square brackets. And again, just note that it's not important what we're actually doing, it's just that you understand that ls-l is just putting its information into awk, and the ls-l basically lists the files line by line, and also provides some additional information. So, yes, ls can do this, and um, let's look at some better examples of piping information into ORC. So we could cat some text file into ORC and grep for the word the. So this would return all the lines with the word the as we covered in the previous presentation. So isn't that the same as ORC regex the some file.txt? Well, yes, it is. <laughs> but I'm just showing you that there's many different ways to complete the same task, which is quite a cool thing. So, you know, it allows you to think on many different levels. If you can, can't do it the one way, you could probably do it another. So, let's look at this following statement and see what's happening because we're piping uh, the information twice. I'm sure there's a, a cleaner way of doing this, but uh, this is something that I just wrote for the presentation to use as an example. So, if we call if config will land zero. This will return all the wireless settings for the current wireless interface or the first wireless interface being the zero interface. And that prints it all out to screen. But say if we wanted to use our current IP address which is subject to change when we sign on and sign off the network unless we've got a fixed IP and we wanted to script grabbing the um, IP address this would be perfect. So, ifconfig will land zero settings for your wireless card. The next um, little bit of awk, because the IP address is contained on the second line, we wait for the row number variable, internal variable to be equal to two, and we print the second line out. But rather than printing line two out, the extra pipe symbol pipes it into awk again and we set the field separator because as you can see the IP address has been returned with ADDR colon than the IP address. <coughs> so we set the field separator as the colon and that will basically return string 2 which is the IP address. So that's a handy little script you know rather than having to code some bash script and use a for loop or something similar. This can all be done with awk. Uh, it's a one-liner. So I'm just showing you how you can integrate this into different things and use it. It's very powerful. Um, so you've got the IP address bit. What else can we do with awk? We can do maths. So rather than using the internal variables, in this example, this sets var equal to zero in the beginning, which 
is where we need to initialize the variables and then as the as awk loops around the text file uh, it increases the var variable by one for every line and then at the end we print var so this is the same kind of command to print line numbers that we looked at in the other tutorial but instead of using the internal variables in awk we're actually using a uh, variable that we've declared ourselves. So let's have a look what else can we do with that. Well we can use logic and we can count for the occurrences of certain words in the text file. So basically we could say var equals zero and then if the regex value is met then increase the var variable by one and print out how many occurrences of hello there are in the document at the end once it's completed processing the file. So did you enjoy that? Let's uh, have a look at some other stuff. This is uh, a simple awk command to calculate the averages so if you got some data that was similar to the data contained in this slide you'll notice that columns 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 are all scores and that if you look at the awk statement below basically what it does for every line is uh, sums the second column, third, fourth, fifth and sixth column together then it divides them by five because each player has five scores and it prints the name of the person followed by their average score to the screen so maths is pretty easy in awk and that should uh, open your eyes a little bit to what AWK is, is capable of. So here you can see if we run the command on the from, from the other slide it would return the average scores for each person contained in the file. Okay, maths over. Now we're going to look at calling system commands from within AWK. So basically we can call uh, files external to awk. In these three examples on this slide it shows us calling uh, a simple shell script, a shell script passing one variable and then a, another script at the bottom where we're passing two variables and we're also passing in another two text string variables. So it's a simple method for calling external files from awk. Okay, what can we do? So if this, then do this. So awk if the third column was equal to hello, then the system would call hello world dot shell. So for every line within the file that contained hello, we could do some kind of processing with either the string value that that line returned, or we could send that off to execute another program or another process which is very very cool and you, as you can see that can be written as one line as well and that just about concludes tonight's video I hope you've enjoyed the advanced awk uh, commands lesson we may look at awk scripting in the future but I think we're going to move on from awk and look at some different stuff have fun hacking We'll be back soon. I've had a blinding headache tonight, so apologies if I've been a bit sluggish. Uh, we'll see you soon. Peace.